What's up guys, War here, welcome back to the channel. So today we are bringing you a post nerf buffs, all the good things. We're bringing you a big updated tier list for Diablo 4 as far as the classes. And we're gonna break this down into two parts. We're gonna talk about leveling and then we're gonna talk about more of the end game because I've got to play both. I'm actually on my hardcore character at level 51, which is really cool. And you guys are gonna hate it. This is the big disclaimer. You guys are gonna hate some of these rankings. You guys really are. And some of you are going to love them, but I think all the points are pretty valid. Now, I do want to say, keep the comments clean, guys. Again, this is just my opinion based on what I've played and my experiences with the classes and just seeing how the builds are and how the process is for a lot of these uh, classes throughout the leveling process all the way to level 100. So, let's go ahead and cut right on over, guys, into our tier maker. Okay, we got the tier maker rocking right now. So... Let's break this down. First, we are going to do leveling. Okay, so 1 to 50, best classes for 1 to 50. So here we go. So guys, starting off, we got Druid in the C tier. Even though this is my favorite class so far in the game, as far as 1 to 50, Druid is very, very slow. The leveling process kind of sucks. However, I am going to bump him one more point only because of the accessibility of pulverize how easy it is to assemble the building codexes from the dungeons and you can really have a lot of fun with this class but before that happens the druid lacks serious mobility in the game even though there's trample and it's very slow even though it, you know it's tanky but the other big thing that it lacks is just overall damage it's one of the actual lowest damage dealing classes in the game especially 1 to 50 so Druid's in B tier for now. It was in C tier, but I'm bumping it to B tier because of the pulverize and how easily accessible it is. Okay, next is Barbarian. Barbarian is also going to be in B tier. Okay, coming up. Barbarian also uh, is very, very tanking. The leveling process is very, very slow. I'm really happy Dean isn't here to just read me about this. But the leveling process for a Barbarian is pretty, pretty slow. Whirlwind is fantastic, but again, you require so much in the shouts and stuff. The also lack of mobility besides cranking every single shout in the game. Barbarian really doesn't have a whole lot of mobility, which really does suck, especially in the early stages. But again, after you get to like 25 and stuff, it really ranks up. Barbarian can be really good. The only the best thing about Barbarian is the high damage output, right? But because it lacks mobility, because it lacks, you know, it's just slow and the leveling process is just, it takes a while to get there. Like we need so many things right off the bat. Like Barbarian just can't take Whirlwind as soon as they get it and just start cleaning clocks of the dungeons and all this stuff it takes a little while so those are the reasons that barbarian is going to be in b tier okay so into a tier first and foremost we're going to talk about necromancer as far as leveling in the a tier necromancer is one of the highest damage dealing or highest dps classes in the game especially early on a lot of people are arguing for the end game but we'll talk about that in a second but it has some of the highest dps in the game which is really really cool uh the minions are awesome for just some cannon fodder but what really lacks the overall mobility mobility and being squishy so those are the two things that really suck for necromancer now a side necromancer is going to be sorcerer okay however i do really want to bump sorcerer up to s tier only because it doesn't matter which three elements that you use for necro or for a sorcerer that the sorcerer is just so good you can pick chain lightning early on you can pick ice shards early on you can pick flame wall early on and they're all super good for leveling you have teleportation which has the sorcerer have very good mobility and actually some pretty good uh you know damage reduction and tankiness because of all of the shields that you can have in barriers with the build not to mention the crowd control facts are just really really good so s tier for um sorcerer Hall, although it's almost like an a plus tier really but i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it in a it's more like an a plus tier almost s tier and then of course guys you guys already know that rogue as far as leveling 1 to 50 is going to be your s tier you're talking about the highest mobility character in the game nobody has more mobility than the rogue but arguably you could say barbarian once all these shouts trigger and you're you have insane move speed that way but rogue has the highest mobility has the highest dps especially 1 to 50 and it just dodges absolutely everything you can fight at close range with twisting blades fight at range with pen shot barrage the build in class for rogue is just an absolute stellar class and one of the easiest things all the way to 50. so guys that is the tier list for 1 to 50. now let's go ahead and reset and let's break down 50 to 100. 50 to 100, guys, best classes, okay? Now, you're going to see some things change here. You're going to see some stuff 
really suck. And I know the first one's really going to hate everybody, but we got to put this bad boy down in B tier. Really, it should be C tier. But Necromancer is going to be in B tier for 50 to 100. Okay, there's going to be a lot of arguments about these rankings. Please just keep it clean. Give me some good facts and feedback. It's awesome. So the reason that the Necromancer is down in B tier, this is as a whole as a class. Yes, Necromancer puts out some serious damage, but with all of the changes, the lack of support to the minions is really, really hurting. I haven't really seen anybody make a very solid minion build. If there is one, please let me know down in the comments, guys. I would love to check it out. Uh, but on the other side of that, Necromancers are squishy. There's a lot that you have to do to actually make them tanky. And more importantly, the reason that they're in B tier is because the huge, huge lack of mobility. Okay, now we're gonna go up into A tier, guys. Sorcerer is back. Again, I'm gonna say this for the record because I don't think people are talking about it enough. Sorcerer is the most consistent and most balanced class in the entire game. High damage, very good mobility, good defenses with barriers as well as crowd control effects. And the build just slaps with any variation that it has. There's very few classes in Diablo 4 that are good with all of the different elements or points of focus that it has, right? So for example, like I will say Rogue, for example, Twisting Blades is the end all be all. There's not really a big variation. And in most cases, when you look at the different kind of focuses, it's really just Poison Imbuement. Poison Imbuement, Poison Trap. Right, so you, there's not really like cold is okay, shadow is okay, but overall it's just poison. Now, sorcerer is amazing because cold or ice, I should say, chain or lightning as well as fire, you can do all three and they're all very, very good across the board. Sorcerer is in A tier, it's the most consistent class in the game. Next to sorcerer, of course, is rogue. It's gonna dip down from S tier. I know all you rogue lovers are gonna hate that, but it's gonna dip down from S tier for a few reasons. Okay, yes, it has very, very good damage, arguably the highest damage in the game with Twisting Blades. Yes, it has very, very good mobility, but what makes it drop just one tier, one tier is because of the squishiness. Okay, the lack of squishiness and really the lack of being able to get out of crowd control effects. Rogues only have two powers or two abilities that would give them unstoppable to break crowd control. And because of this, those two things drop the rogue down into a tier making him very very squishy yes you guys are going to make an argument for that the dodge chance is just insane but it's not enough to keep him in s tier i'm sorry rogue mains and i'm playing rogue for hardcore so don't beat me up about it so that brings us to our last two classes which you guys probably all assumed we're going to throw ahead and throw them up there you have barbarian in s tier because barbarian highest damage in the game arguably at the end game next to rogue and next to druid okay this is critting with hoda for 50 million 80 million i think it's 50 is the record but it's absolutely insane high mobility super super tanky once you get to the end game 70 plus the barbarian is literally unstoppable so barbarian s tier right next to barbarian of course is my favorite build in the game or or class so far in the game is druid the variations of builds and styles that you can do with the druid makes it so good. Taking us is through the roof, super high defenses, very high attack power, and also arguably the strongest build in the game was Stormwolf, which we have a video about that as well. So being able to play different variations and have all of them be super strong in the end game is just insane considering how bad it is in the beginning stages of your leveling process. So with that said, guys, here is the 50 to 100 tier ranking list. And I really hope that you guys have enjoyed it again, guys. Comment down below. Let me know if you agree, disagree with some of these rankings. You let me know. Of course, keep everything cool, calm, collective, be fun, be safe, you know, be, be cool. Uh, but yeah, guys, like the video, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, stay gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.